Yeah. Hey. It's the siege. What's going on guys, James Quirrell here and welcome back to a new video. So um, today guys I'm going to bring you through a full day of eating and my supplements now because I'm currently 15 days out from my photo shoot so I'm going to take you through my full day of eating, everything, I, everything I'm putting into my body, supplements, food and um, also coffee wise as well, you've seen this whipped up a nice little coffee. Um, so I finished my core and cardio this morning so I'm now home again and um, it's roughly around half eight right now, I don't even have a watch, I don't know why I even looked down to be honest. But yeah, it's roughly around half eight right now, having a coffee and we're going to get straight into meal number one, so let's go. Okay guys, so meal number one is going to be um, 100 grams of oats and here, you see in this box, um, I've got all my um, food literally weighed out in the bags. So like, if, if you do struggle with like, um, having time for cooking your meals and stuff, like, it's still, um, like weighing all your stuff out, because like, once I buy them, like, I weigh them out, so there's 100, 100 grams in each one of these. And I've got two more left, because I'm, I'm still a little bit of shopping later as well. Like, say with my pasta, I have 90 grams in each of these bags. Um, which is ideal, so literally grab them and go, you know, so handy, there's no need to weigh it, there's no need of weighing it out. And it literally saves me that two or three minutes every day, you know, when I'm making my meals. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into meal number one. Okay, so there we have it, meal number one is 100 grams of oats. As I said, I said in my previous video, don't I, it's um, 100 grams of like ready brick it gives it more volume. You can see that if that was 100 grams of oats now, there would actually be a lot less volume. Um, so again, it feels like you're eating a lot more. And I'm able to use more water as well because the ready brick like soaks up more water. So giving that more volume. And then there's 30 grams of whey protein as well. Um, so that's meal number one. Also as well before, I used to have um, 100 grams of blueberries, but they've been removed now because um, it's the, last few, the last few weeks now, um, calories have to come down slowly. So he's cutting out simple things like blueberries now. Um, so it's still, it's, it's still tasty because I'm using vanilla flavor. Um, but it was way nicer with the blueberries, I have to admit. Um, so it's made number one, and also I'll be taking as well Alpha Men, which is a multivitamin. So I'll be taking two of these as well with this meal. And then I've got my calcium and magnesium. I'll be taking two of these as well. So I'm getting my daily vitamin um, hit. Um, also as well, in the mornings as well, I take a Yohimbine product. So it helps to activate your fat burning um, system really. And um, then this as well, it's the Oxy Shred. This is not the proper tub. I just have it in this tub because it's bigger. I'll have a little clip here of what the actual Oxy shred is, so it's like a caffeine drink, fat burner drink. Um, I find these very beneficial in the morning when I'm doing cardio. Um, so this is, so I'll take these in the morning before cardio and core, and then I'll take these supplements then with my breakfast. And also as well, I got the protein powder as well, just to have with my meals throughout the day. So yes, I'm gonna enjoy this. Okay, so meal number one is completed. That was very tasty. Um, so the macros on this bad boy now were 482 calories, um, protein was 39, 5.8 grams of fat, and then there's 64.5 grams of carbohydrates. So a um, very nice meal to have in the mornings. And again, as I said, this is my training day food plan. So this morning as well, I did a check-in because I do, I do check-in twice a week now with Gary, seeing as I'm leading up to the photo shoot now, so I think check-ins twice a week. So. I'll give you a little quick little physique update and then I'll see you for meal number two. Let's go. Okay, so now it's time for meal number two. So um, I'm also going to prep my pre-workout meal as well, because uh, it's to save time. So what I'm, what I'm having now, two turkey burgers from Aldi. Um, I'm going to grill these now. So a little tip as well when you're cooking these burgers. And um, what I like to do is, um, you see here now, what I do, so they're kind of stuck together. But um, I literally press them, so I can make them like thinner, so that they, so that they cook a lot faster. Um, so they'll, they'll, like I spread them out maybe ne nearly twice the size. Um, so they'll cook really quickly now again. And again, same this one. Making sure the both are on the same size. And they'll, they'll, they'll cook so quickly now. And also as well, I'm going to try my, for my pre workout meal as well, I'm having two sausages. Two sausages, low fat sausages, so I'll put these cooking now as well. So here we 
having meal number two, two turkey burgers, and I have roughly two cups of veg. I also cooked the veg as well for my uh, meal as well later on, which will be my bolognese, so you'll see that later on in the video. Um, so I'll give you the quick macros for these. Calories on this are 289, and the proteins, 46 grams, 8.4 grams of fat, and then 8.4 grams of carbs as well. So it's almost like a little bit of a snack during the day. And um, then I'll be, have. I also made my pre-workout meal as well, as you've just seen. Um, so we'll have that later on. But now we're going to head into Aldi to get some food. Little or Aldi, I'm not sure which we're going, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, we've now made it to Aldi. Uh, so we're going to head in, get a few bits. Um, I'm only getting a few bits now that'll keep me going for two or three days. Because now that I'm getting so close to the photo shoot, my plan is like changing daily almost. Um, well, well, not daily yet, like it's changing, like it could, it could change every two or three days. So I don't want to be buying stuff and then like not being able to use it. Like, like so I'm just going to buy two or three days worth of food. There's a no back. Um, I actually got more than I expected to be honest. Fair. Okay, so let's head inside and I'll show you what I got. So two boxes of pork pops. So my post worker pork pops. They had no low fat pork sausages, so I got some chicken sausages. They're roughly the same calories. Got some cheese for my omelette. Got a drum of almond milk. I got two of these actually. Some frozen veg. Um, and my turkey rashers. Some Greek yogurt. I got two packs of steak min steak min, so four percent. And then I got some turkey burgers. So let's step back. Let's move on to the next one. So we got a ready break. Um, this this just the Aldi version of it. So the instant hot oat cereal, savage. So it's my morning. And um, as you seen from meal number one, that's my um ready break oats. Got some eggs. Some more veg. veg. We got our bagels. They're kind of flattened and they're freezing cold from the veg on top of that. We have our bagels anyway. Got some steaks, two steaks, keep us going for the next few days. And got some rice, two packs of rice again, and then um, my last one of almond milk. So, yes, that's everything I got in the food shop. It'll keep me going for probably two or three days. Maybe some stuff keep me going for four or five days. Um, but overall, yeah, that's it. So, guys, I'll see you later on for pre workout meals. Okay, so it's about 20 to 2 right now, and I'm gonna be training at around half two. Um, so, now is the ideal time to have my pre workout meal. Um, so, again, I'm gonna give you a quick reveal. I've like, seen this in previous videos, but I'm um, what I'm having, because I cooked this while I go, because I'm sure it's the same time, um, so I was doing some work as well. So I cooked, uh, I cooked this with, with meal number two. And again, wrapped it in tin foil, left it in the oven, um, so it's still nice and warm. Um, all this tin foil is all over the place. Usually it goes smoother than this, but um, so I have the bagel, two low-fat sausages, um, two turkey rashers, and then I have an egg as well. So the macros on this and the calories um, right now. So there's 482 calories, um, 43.2 grams of protein. Um, 10.2 grams of fat and then I have 52.9 grams of carbohydrate so perfect ideal so it's the ideal pre-workout meal um, super tasty it's actually amazing so I'm actually looking forward to this so when I get some more work done um, you, I'll probably just watch a video now while I'm, while I'm eating this um, just to pass the time and then once I'm done get some work done have my pre-workout shake and um, we'll head to the gym so I'll see you guys then okay so it is pre-workout time again at the back of my car literally this is where I make all my pre-workouts in the booth because I store all my pre-workout tubs here, I have like three or four of them here, but um, today we're going with this bad boy. This is like my favorite one so far for like um, pre-workout in general and the actual flavor is amazing. Because as I said, it's jungle juice. So this is like a stim and pump um, product. So um, it's actually insane. The pump and everything off this is crazy. And like the mental focus and like endurance is actually insane. But this stuff lasts for like, I'm not even joking, like my two hour session, it, it, could, la it could last two or three hours. Like I go for a full scoop of course, because I'm a mad bastard. Just chuck that in there and also as well I'm going to throw a little bit of this in there so this is a pump product as well just to get that extra juicy pump going um, it's roughly like a half scoop of that as well so this is a very naughty pre-workout and also most importantly I have my one scoop of creatine my five grams well it's roughly about a scoop and a half of this pro uh, this um, creatine because the scoop is only three grams so like that's how much I'm throwing just roughly five grams throw it in there sort it and we're ready to go this this is literally my favorite concoction for pre workers And um, I also have the cold water and some ice in there as well. So this is going to be absolutely amazing. So I cannot wait now to drink this. Also as well, what are we thinking at the top? I haven't worn this in a long time because it was getting too small for me, but now it's like fitting perfectly. 
aesthetic or not. I love this jersey. This is one of my favorite jerseys I've ever gotten. Um, just like the like the way the colors and everything, like the white and like the little um, strips of red and blue. So like, I think it's insane. And French as well. Um, France is like one of my favorite countries. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink this. I'm walking to the gym today because it's a, an absolute so, a savage day. So why not get some steps in and just enjoy the sunshine? So guys, um, I won't be recording the gym session because I'm sure this video is probably too long already. So um, if you are still watching, thanks very much. I love you. I really, really love you so much. I'll give you a kiss right now. But um, I'm gonna go have a an amazing leg workout after I drink this of course because I'm going to be cracked off my head and um, so I'll see you guys after for a post workout meal Ok so we're back in the work spot again with our post workout meal that was that, that leg session was absolutely amazing actually it was, it, was so, it, was, it was so tough but it was so satisfying to push through and like giving 100% like knowing that that work was going to pay off in the end is actually very very good like my legs are gone after. I also, as I said, I walked down to the gym, um, trained, and then I cycled back because I left my bike in the gym. So then I was able to cycle back, um, and my legs were cycling up because I was cycling up a few hills as well, and like my legs are just gone completely. So, um, again, I'm very happy to work out. So then we have the perfect post workout meal right here. Um, so we have 75 grams of Cocoa Pops, um, I have my 30 grams of whey, and I mix that with some almond milk and, and water. So the macros and the calories on this bad boy 434 calories. 33.2 grams of protein, uh, 5.3 grams of fat, and then there's 63 um, grams of carbs. Um, so again, perfect ideal um, fast absorbing protein, um, quick digesting protein as well, and the Cocoa Pops as well, just to fill up those depleted glycogen stores. So protein I use as well is chocolate caramel, my favorite flavor. Has to be downright my favorite flavor anyway, from my protein, so. I'm gonna, wa I'm gonna mangle this down. I'm, I'm, I'm watching a YouTube video now as well. It's some work done as well. And then I'll see you guys later on for meal number five, which is going to be final meal of the day. And we'll go through our total calories and macros for the whole day. Okay, so meal number five, last meal of the day. I have 90 grams of pasta, raw weight. So obviously once it's cooked, it's going to be a bit heavier. There's gonna be more weight one after it's cooked. 200 grams of minced beef, and then I have roughly 150 grams of Aldi bolognese sauce, and then I have roughly two cups of veg. I cooked this veg while I go um, this morning, so I just heat it up and then cook my mince, the pasta. I have a little bit of pink salt on the top now, just add a little bit of flavor, and um, obviously sodium for hydration. And I got my pint of water, and I'm gonna enjoy this now, and um, I'll probably head to bed after that. And also some macros on this meal now for the last meal of the day. Um, 594 um, calories. 44.7 grams of protein, 10.2 uh, grams of fat, and then 69.5 grams of carbs. So, nice hefty meal now to finish off the day. Okay, so that is the end to all the food, all the madness. Um, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to give you a quick run through now of my macros. So, yes, I just finished up my last meal. That was very tasty. I'm now sitting on my bed because I'm ready to go to sleep because I'm absolutely wrecked. Today was such a busy day because um, like I, I was training legs. legs. Leg training is always so tiring. It's so taxing on your body. Like it's just. Um, I did my cardio as well this morning. Um, went for went for a cycle. Went for a nice nice long walk. So a lot of output today. A lot of energy used. Um, so I'm definitely really run down right now. Um, it's very tired and also fatigue is probably starting to kick in slowly. Because um, <clears throat> I'm starting to feel that now in my legs, especially from all the cardio and the training, um, fatigue is definitely kicking in. Um, so hopefully in these last few weeks. Um, last two, just just over two weeks, so hopefully now they won't be um, too tough on me. But uh, I'm going to keep pushing through no matter what because we've got to give 100% all the time because we're going to bring the best package we can to the photo shoot. So I'm going to give you my full macros now for the whole day, full calories and macros. So in total now today for our training days, 2,264 calories altogether. And then so protein is 210 grams, so a nice hefty amount of protein now on training days. Fats, 44 grams in total. And then carbohydrates, 257 grams. So um, overall, nice macronutrient calculations right there. So five meals split through today, and I drink roughly three to four liters of water as well every day. And you see my supplements as well that I had this morning. So guys, I want to thank you for watching all the way to the end. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give a big thumbs up. Comment down below as well what you enjoyed, and uh, what videos you want to see from me as well in the future. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's go.